Students and staff from UC Berkeley's Basic Needs Security Team hosted Hunger and Homeless Awareness Week. Lisa Kim and this reporter spoke to students and coordinators. The workshop provided a safe and comfortable place for students. They learned about the resources that were provided by the university. You know, that navigating that stuff is, is more difficult than... It, it, it causes a little bit of stress that like, you feel like is not necessary. Student panelists Tavarcia Borelli, Gia Cordova, and Taehan Lee shared their personal experiences. You know, because if you admit that you're homeless, if you, if you admit that you're depressed, um, then like, your competition is one step ahead of you now. Participants expressed the need for a centralized information system for easier access to resources. You have to go and find out those scholarships yourself, which also takes time. And you, it, it's hard to take that time for yourself when you don't even know that they're there. Traversia, one of the panelists, stated that UC Berkeley is by far superior when it comes to health care for students. So the first question about um, how does not having your basic needs affect your mental health, um, you know, have I would just ask anyone who's ever been um, hungry or not knowing where they're going to sleep that night, how does it affect you, right? I know if I don't eat for a little while, my mood shifts really dramatically, my energy shifts. Um, if I don't know where I'm going to sleep, I'm really worried about, you know, Know, like what's going to happen to me in, in the nighttime and that anxiety kind of takes a primary place in my mind so that I can't concentrate on other things um, and so that's anxiety that's possibly some depression but most of all it's just interfering with my my energy and my ability to focus however there are still difficulties that these students face so despite the label of them being free, which I mentioned is really good, um, there's still a lot of negatives to the fact that they are not unlimited. Um, and currently Tang is making some efforts to try to make them more um, unlimited in a sense, but the model is still under the brief counseling model, which I think is something that can be changed. This is Lisa Kim and Anna Luck reporting, reporting for Cal TV, TV News. News.